<clears throat> All right, um, drawing and talking with Nathaniel Sullivan. Um, this is going to be a what I'm reading, or in this case, uh, what I've read uh, since I finished the, the book in question. The book in question this time, or the book uh, under review, is uh, Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. It's book one of the Southern Reach trilogy. And um, yeah, um, I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say a great deal about it since a lot of it, a lot of the fun of the book um, is not knowing what's going to happen next. I guess that'll become obvious. So uh, this will be a very non-spoiler um, sort of alert. It, it, it looks sort of view. It's really not the kind of, um, it's really not the kind of book where you want spoilers. I mean, there's some things where spoilers think matter not at all, and other things uh, where they matter a great deal. Uh, this is one of the, this is a latter case. So yeah, the, um, the, the basic premise of, of the uh, of the novel, which would probably be familiar to um, uh, science fiction fans and you know, probably also horror fans as well, uh, but the basic premise is that there's this mysterious area uh, in the United States, um, presumably Florida. It, it almost certainly seems to be a part of um, Southern United States. Well, hence hence the name Southern Reach. I'll come to that in a moment. Um, located in Florida and um, there's this mysterious region, and um, it's not clear. It's it's cut off from the rest. It's, I think there's kind of this mysterious dome uh, that kind of enters it. Um, expeditions that have been sent. It, 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 I guess it. Um, I guess it resists any kind of attempt at, at surveillance, any attempt to videotape it or fly drones over it or inspect it in that way. <clears throat> although, although I should say one one thing about the the novel is that a lot of it is um a lot of what you get, a lot of the information that you get in it, um is, is highly uh, unreliable. I, I guess that'll become clear as I, I go on as well. At any rate, um, so there is this mysterious area, and very little is known about it, um, and. Uh, not surprisingly, the, the, the book is taken up with a four-person expedition. Uh, four women um, are sent on an expedition um, into, uh, the, the, into what's called Area X, into this, this zone, uh, this area about which so little is known. And um, not surprisingly, things uh, immediately uh, go wrong, um, which is one of, the, one of the really great things uh, about the novel, I should say. Um, not just because uh, it's very interesting when things go wrong, and it is uh, very interesting when, when things go wrong, if, if things are going right. Um, obviously, it's, it's, you know, nobody wants to read about when everything's going right. Uh, not, not very interesting um, for people. Um, so not, not very interesting for readers. Um, things go quite wrong, and things go quite wrong uh, in a number of ways. Um, first, I mean, there's no... Every, everything inside the area, things are so strange, things are so unusual, things are so unprecedented, there's really uh, no preparation um, po possible for it uh, to make things worse. Uh, to make things worse, the preparation that the, um, that the expedition team has been given is clearly, um, is clearly uh, inadequate, and then to make things uh, even worse, um, a lot of the information is either, uh, it's clear that they've been lied to, right? It's clear that um, the people who have sent them in have another agenda. It's clear, it's clear there are lots of agendas. And um, it, it's quite clear that for a variety of reasons, like none of this uh, is going to go, uh, it, this is almost certainly not going to go um, particularly well. Um, I should say one thing that one thing that really kind of heightens uh, the novel, or one one thing that's really kind of um, really fascinating about it, is the, uh, the the expedition members that go in are never named. It's a first person account uh, by one of the expedition members, <coughs> and <coughs> she uh, refers to uh, herself and the other um, and the others by by their by their fields. Right. So there are, there were four of us: a biologist, an anthropologist, a surveyor. And a psychologist, um, I was the biologist, and, and you never get their names, um, which makes it all kind of, um, I, I don't know, I guess all the more kind of creepy, uh, in some ways. Um, it, it's it's very, uh, it's an extremely um, creepy book, extremely uh, creepy. I, I, I was quite what, spine tingling, uh, quite a thriller, um, very sort of very, I, I guess, sort of gothic. 
uh, elements at um, times. Well, I'm not sure I should say gothic elements, but various sort of horror elements and very horror, horror uh, sci-fi. Um, I would think um, Lovecraft fans uh, would certainly uh, enjoy this, uh, as well as as well as people who are not. Um, it's really quite an enjoyable book. Um, it's it's quite quite enjoyable, quite a good book, quite a good read. Uh, it's fast. I think I finished it in. I, I mean, I would have finished it in a day uh, if I hadn't had to do other things. Um, let's see. It's only I think it's only about two hundred pages. It's one hundred and ninety five pages. Um, it's quite good. It moves along um, at a rapid clip. Um, let's see. I guess something else I should add is that it has. It reminds me a lot of the Tart, uh, Tartakovsky uh, film Stalker, um, which is a film I happen to uh, is a film I happen to like uh, quite a lot. Uh, so for me, that kind of a nice uh, bonus there. Um, let's see other things to say about it. Uh, it's some, it's some other good details to get into. Um, it has the, and it's something that would be very familiar uh, to readers of science fiction, and I think horror, horror is uh, one of the themes, it, it, and I don't think this is giving too much away, uh, you can certainly, you'll certainly be able to see it coming reading the book, um, there's the kind of acceptance that you uh, invariably have to confront uh, in science fiction, especially um, in science fiction horror, horror. Um, once you're Right, so overwhelmed by what you're confronting, right? Once uh, the enormity of it all becomes clear, um, th there's kind of a kind of resignation, a kind of uh, resignation kicks in, a kind of you know perhaps even optimism um, about what has uh, seemed um, so horrible, right? That that's very um, pronounced. That 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 comes across uh, very strongly um, in the book. And, and necessarily so. I mean, I, and, I, that, and that's one of the things that makes it good. It good. It's not a forced um, sort of acceptance. It's not. Um, <clears throat> it's not um, what I don't know shoehorned in. It's it's a logical uh, sort of response, or it's a rational response to what is an um, extremely uh, irrational, unprecedented uh, situation. Um, I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what else to say exactly. Um, characterization um, is pretty good, pretty involved. Um, you you learn a great you learn a lot about um, the biologist and about her background. Um, it's, it's strong characters, uh, very interesting. Um, and I should say I should also mention I should explain uh, perhaps briefly. Um, Southern Reach. I said this is the um, Southern Reach uh, trilogy, and. Um, Southern Reach refers to the uh, the secretive government organization that is in charge of dealing uh, with Area X. Right, the, the expedition is sent in um, by um, by by uh, the, the the organization known as the Southern Reach, <clears throat> which I have to say seems um, like an extremely uh, nefarious or organization uh, to see, see to say the least. Although that's not that's not really fair. I mean, that's not really. Um, Again, I mean, one of the things that, that's really going to come across um, in this novel, um, as I said, it's a first-person account, and it, it's, it's very, it, it, she seems to have been lied to, she seems to have been given misinformation, or perhaps she wasn't. Um, it, it's very hard uh, to get at um, where the truth lies, as I say. So, I mean, what, what I mean by that is the narrator, right? a lot of the people that she encounters, um, especially her fellow team members, um, they are uh, they are as 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 poorly um, informed as she is, um, and and the ones who don't seem per the ones who do not seem uh, to be um, poorly informed uh, don't seem to be on her side. I mean, there's very much um, a sense of uh, trust no one. Um, so, I, although although the sudden reach, right? Although it, though it seems uh, nefarious, although its motives uh, seem far less than pure, um, e even cruel and awful, uh, that's not really a fair assessment. Uh, nothing really, nothing, nothing really um, is as it seems um, in, in the novel, or at least uh, you, as the reader, can't know that. Uh, so, thanks a great deal for listening. Uh, like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.